Davis, who draws high praise for his work ethic, his dedication. Going to get his left elbow, sorry, right elbow, in between him and Kron. Kron takes the back drop, finish. Kron what Gracie. he's looking for right away. That's in. That's done. Kron Gracie looking to tighten up the choke here under the chin of Alex Caceres. That's it, guys. Caceres might go out before tapping. There's the tap. So the fight I was most excited for was definitely Kron Gracie. I think seeing a Gracie back in the UFC is a great thing for the sport of MMA in general. Especially yeah. for that division. Yeah, that 155 division, again. 45. Oh, 145, I want to cut that up. 145 division, <laughs> absolutely stacked. Two, another stacked division, but what did you think of his performance? I thought he was really good. I mean, they didn't give him a chump. Alex Caceres is no chump. No, he's not. Um, I, I definitely think they... They did the right thing. They gave him a good matchup. Nothing crazy. He looked. He looked like a strong grappler. Um, he, he, yeah. his, he was okay on the feet for the. I mean, they did. Yeah, I was surprised, feet. dude. He actually landed a few shots on the feet, which I was pretty surprised about for yeah, someone he, coming in that was strictly a jujitsu master. Yeah, he's not going to be like Aldo on the feet, but I mean, nah. he, he's okay on the feet. He said that he didn't want to be a jujitsu guy who couldn't strike. So he can strike a little bit. Uh, he's gonna keep getting better. Keep but getting better, absolutely. Wow, that grappling man. Oh he God. was on that guy's back. Did you see the back. way he took his back? He was like a backpack. He, he had him on the he had him on the cage. Yeah, he was he on his back. The cage, man. <laughs> it's so impressive. I just seeing like a Gracie fight is like a privilege if you're an MMA fan because these guys legit are the greatest jujitsu family ever. His grandfather basically created jujitsu, and they're a huge part of why the UFC's around. Like, Absolutely, and another cool thing was he broke the drought. The last Gracie to win a UFC event was in 1994, tw like 20 years ago, something wow. like that. 24 Jesus. years. So seeing him come back, there's a lot of potential for him, man. I'm telling you right now. Another thing we talked about was if he fights Brian Ortega, oh my god. They shouldn't even let them strike, just go grab Yeah, him. that would be just grab the, the greatest jujitsu match in UFC history, probably. So Seeing those two roll on yeah, the mats. And, and Ortega's coach is Henner Gracie, which is, is yeah, like Kron's cousin. cousin. Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of um, potential for Kron in that division. I mean, I don't know if he's going to get ranked off that one fight alone. He won't. I think they should move him slowly. I Me too. think I think let him improve this fight. He's 5-0 right now. So that's yeah. Good. Correct. Let him let him build that up to like seven and zero. I agree. Then give him a, a tougher guy. I think um, feed him like a maybe like a seventeen fifteen ranked guy next. Yeah, I, I thought a good matchup for him, um, if he was still fighting but unfortunately retired, would be Chad Mendez. Really? Just because he's a Wait, wrestler. Chad Mendez retired? Yeah, he's done. What? Yeah. This is breaking news for me. When did this like, happen? Like a few like a month after his last fight, he said he's done. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Keep yeah, talking. I just think um, I think it would have been a good matchup because Chad's okay on the feet. He's not great. I think it would have been a little fair on the feet. And then I think if Chad's wrestling came into play, I think he would be in huge trouble. Yeah, I'd like to see what Kron would do against a wrestler. Because the guy Alex he was fighting was a pure striker. When a wrestler fights a jiu-jitsu guy, that's more interesting because they're both good on the ground and they know how to maneuver their way in and out of position. So yeah, it's like it's more of like being able to hold them down and hurt them without getting caught in something. It's yeah. so hard. I agree. Like I, with Chael versus Anderson, like he, he was beating the piss out of him for four rounds, then he got caught in one triangle and night night. Yeah. You know who I would love Hanato, him to see? Moicano versus him. Yeah. Yeah, that 145, I'll tell you one thing about that division. There's a bunch of jujitsu guys in there who are all Ooh, black belt. Cubs I, Swanson. Calvin Cater is actually, that. that's the fight I want right the now. The zone. Yep. That's the win's own. Wow. Calvin Cater. That, that's, that's a that's, good fight. It's a massive, I mean, do I got a rule for the men's shoes this guy? I don't I think would. so. <laughs> Listen, a lot of people are sleeping on 145. Volkanovski's good. He's been talking a lot of shit. Did I mean, beat Mendes? Respect to him. He did. He did beat Mendes. Then you have, you still have Edgar and Ortega there, even though Edgar kind of is out of the title picture. Yeah. I mean, then you, then you still have, excuse me, if Cub Swanson can make a run, he could always go after the title. Moicano, I mean, behind Aldo. And yeah. then you have Aldo still. I mean, it, the 145 division's in good hands. It's And the fact that we got a Gracie in, and it's even better now. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, it's a beat too. Jeremy Stevens, the, the division stack. Yeah. I'm excited for the future of Kron Gracie in the 145 power division. And yeah, we both agree. We're gonna push him slow, hopefully. I uh, yeah, they got to work guys more. like that. Yeah, get his record a little better, and get him into a super fight. I mean, he's not very talkative on the mic, but 
you don't have to be when you get the last name Gracie. That's, I mean, that's a fact. Speaks for itself. By the way, fun. I know you wanted to mention yeah. Nate Diaz coming over with him. Oh yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. That was awesome. We'll never see him fight again. Really? You don't think so? No. Nate on I Nate. hope we do. I think Nick's done. Nick's done. I would love to. I just. I want to see. I would watch Nate Diaz fight a can of tomatoes. <laughs> I just. I would love to just see him back. I just don't. I do too. I think. I think it's gonna happen sooner than you think. He said he. Poirier also said he would fight Diaz. Yeah, that was I the other think. Fight. If a, if he really wants to fight Dustin Poirier, which he was scheduled to do already, he would get a decent amount of money. Absolutely. I think so. Oh I think that's God. a great fight. Nate Diaz is ranked twelfth right now. That's crazy, but yeah. Who knows, dude? There's a lot of options. I do think Nate's gonna fight again. You don't. That's fine. Um, we'll see what happens with that. We All I know is we just want to see Kron. Kron? Kron Mania. Keep it up, buddy. All right, so that, that's a wrap.